hope you're all okay. Um, we are running through our final session in our Pilates for pain management this morning. Um, let me just turn my music down slightly because I'm worried that you can't hear what I'm saying. There we go. Um, so my name's Emily. I know some of you will have done my previous classes with Fit and Well. Uh, just a little bit about myself. So I'm the founder and instructor at Build and Breathe Pilates. Good morning. Um, and I have chronic pain myself um, following uh, spinal fusion surgery eight years ago, long time ago. Um, so I use Pilates to really help myself and to just learn to manage my pain and help ease any sore muscles. So I'm hoping I can bring a little bit of that relief to you guys as well today. Um, we've worked through lots of different aspects that support our spines. We've looked at our core, lower body, posture, um, but today we're just working through a full top to toe 45 minute long stretch session which I'm really excited about. So um, before we get started can you all just make sure you've got enough room around you um, and also that you've got a head block of some sort. So if you don't have a block like mine you can just use a cushion or you can even use your elbow to be honest, whatever you have available. Um, and we're going to start standing up. If anything doesn't feel right for you today then you can just swap it out, try something else, have a little nap, it's completely up to you but just make sure you're listening to your body throughout. Um, so as I say, we'll start standing up, and make sure you can see all of me back here. And we're going to start by bringing our hands down behind, beside us with our palms facing forwards. We're going to take a little heel raise, and we're going to take a big breath in. Bring those arms back slightly behind you, and then breathing out to come back down to the floor. Breathing in, heel raise up. And pushing the air back out. Lovely guys, keep going with those, breathing in, and out, lovely guys, keep them going, let's take four more, lovely, thinking about breathing right in your belly, filling up your rib cage as you breathe in, we're going to try and keep that breathing pattern going as we do the rest of this class, let's take one more. And out, lovely, keeping your feet hip width apart on the floor, hands are going to stay down by our sides, we're going to take a little neck tilt over to one side, the opposite hand I want you to reach out, it's going to deepen the stretch slightly and if you want to you can bring the other hand up to rest on top of your head and again that's going to deepen that stretch, stretching from the tips of the fingers on that straight hand and then we'll come back to centre. You're tilting your neck to the other side, stretching with the opposite hand, and if you're comfortable too, you can bring the other hand on top of your head to deepen that stretch a little bit further. Lovely guys, let's do that two more times on each side, opening up through that palm, stretching, feeling that stretch all the way down the side of your neck. Lovely, swapping over. Really reaching from the tips of your fingers on that straight hand. And we've got one more to do on each side. Love you guys, it should feel lovely. Just again, working to what feels best with your body. And again. Love you guys, once you've done that last one, we're just going to come down towards our mats. We're going to come into a deep squat, so we're coming right down, hands are resting on the floor, heels are lifting off of the mat. We're going to stay with our chest up to start, take a breath in, and then planting your hands on the floor, we're going to push our heels down into the mat, straightening up our legs and coming into this lovely hamstring stretch. Now it might be that you can't get your legs completely straight, that's absolutely fine. You can come down with a bend, as long as you're feeling a stretch through your hamstrings, it's perfect. Bring those feet back down towards the mat, and lifting the heels up, we're coming back into that squat with our chest lifted. We're going to do this three more times, so pushing down into the mat, stretching, straightening those legs as much as you can, and then coming back down. Just taking it nice and gentle, nice and slowly. And we've got two more to do. Lovely guys. Coming up for that last one. Perfect. Bring yourself 
back down into that squat. So we're going to pop our knees down on the floor and we're going to come into a lunge position. So we'll keep our back knee down, just bringing the first leg up so we're in this lovely lunge. I want you to keep your hips facing forwards and we're just going to slide gently towards that front leg and coming backwards. So we're just warming up through our thigh and our glutes on that front leg, but also getting a little stretch down our hip flexor on the back leg. Your hip flexor is where your hip joins up with your thigh. And if you want to target it a little bit more specifically, you can tuck your pelvis under and then come into that stretch. You should feel it a lot more targeted. Tucking under and coming forwards, making sure those hips are facing forwards. We're going to take this three more times. Being nice and gentle, keeping your breaths big and centered up through your belly. And last one. Lovely guys, bring yourself back up so that your weight's evenly distributed between your two feet. And we're just going to take a hand to that top knee, gently opening it up to the side and coming back in. So we're just working that hip, seeing where we can open it, just getting a little bit of mobility work through that joint. Lovely guys. Just working with your natural range of motion here. So as that knee comes out, you can lift the sole of your foot off of the floor just to get a little bit more movement in that hip joint, but it does mean it's harder to balance. We're going to do this two more times, opening up that knee, closing. Lovely guys, and then we're just going to lean forwards, so our weight's coming over that front foot, planting our hands down either side of that front foot, I'm just wiggling back so you can see me. If you want to, you can tuck the back toes under and lift that back knee as well for a deeper lunge. The hand on the same side as the front foot is going to rise up to our bra strap or armpit and if it's comfortable too, you can extend the arm up towards the ceiling. So we're rotating our chest round towards that knee. If you're feeling really bendy, you can then tuck the arm back behind you so we're coming into a really deep twist. Bring the arm back up and round. We're going to do that two more times. You're welcome to put that back knee down at any point that you want to. Rising up, tucking the arm behind if you're comfortable to. And coming back, round and down. Lovely guys, last one, drawing up. Extending if you're comfortable. Okay, bring the arm back round. Lovely guys, we are just gonna pop that back knee down and we're gonna slide that leg through until we feel a stretch on the back of our ankle here. If you want to get a little bit deeper, you can add some weight onto that front knee and just lean deeply, I'm gonna come off camera, just lean deeply into that stretch. And you should be feeling that maybe up into your calf, definitely down the back of your ankle. And you can just lean gently on that front knee until you feel a stretch. We're going to hold here for about 20 more seconds, so just taking it nice and slow. Thinking again about your breathing pattern here, how deep are you breathing in? Are you feeling those breaths right in your tummy rather than up in your chest? Okay, when you're ready, we're going to take that knee that we slid through, we're going to slide it on back. And we're going to slide it all the way back and come into a pigeon stretch. So we can wiggle that front foot across to the midpoint of our body. Hands are bearing a lot of your weight out front and we can drop that front knee and come into that stretch. So we're really feeling this through our glutes on that front leg. If you are finding this a hard position to come into, you can do a little trick with a block or a cushion and you can just start to stick that in underneath your bottom there. It's going to elevate your hips slightly and make that stretch a bit more manageable. So just working with what feels best. Um, and if you want a deeper stretch, if you're okay without the head block, you can lower your chest down towards the floor and enjoy the stretch there. So see what feels best. We're holding here for about another 30 seconds. 
So really again, thinking about your breath, I'm gonna keep telling you to bring your mind back to your breathing pattern and seeing how it feels. Lovely guys, keeping holding.
Uh, if you do want to lean forwards and deepen that stretch, the option's there, but I'm not going to because then you can't see me. And so completely up to you, and we're just keeping our hips really nice and forward, so it's tempting to kind of roll over to make it a bit easier. So come forwards, get yourself nice and comfortable, and we're holding here for another half a minute. this position so if you just raise your chest back up off of the floor we're going to swing that leg back in beside us and we're going to push up into an extended down stretch so bringing your hands out nice and flat in front of you keeping your fingers spread so that you've got a nice bit of traction on the floor and then we're just going to tuck our toes under and push our hips up towards the ceiling chest is coming down in between our hands and then we can just pedal through our feet. Enjoying that stretch down the back of our legs. Getting a little bit of work up through our shoulders on our back. We're gonna take one more pedal on each foot. And then we're very gently lowering our knees back down to the floor, sitting yourself back onto your heels and stretch your hands up to the top of the mat. Heads come down in between your hands. And then we'll take nice deep breaths here. We're going to do that two more times, coming up into that down stretch. So when you're ready, just bringing yourself back up into that all fours position, spreading your fingers, tuck those toes under, pushing your hips up to the ceiling, stretching down the back of your legs, pedaling through your feet. Lovely, feel that stretch through the back of your legs. And then one last pedal on each foot. And we're gonna lower our knees gently down to the floor. Sit yourself back onto your heels, and again, stretching those hands forwards, come into this child's pose. Lovely, just holding here for a couple of really big deep breaths. And then when you're ready, coming up for the last one, coming up onto all fours, spread your fingers, tuck your toes under, pushing up, popping your head down in between your chest, and again, pedaling between your heels. Lovely, guys. Okay, last pedal from each foot, and then we're going to lower our knees back down to the mat. We're staying in this all fours position, and we're going to work through a cat stretch. So I want you to imagine that somebody's about to hook you underneath your rib cage, and they're going to pull your ribs down towards the mat. So your pelvis is going to tuck down, it's going to lean down, tilting towards the floor. Our chest is sinking down in between our shoulders, and we're getting a lovely dip through our spine. But then going to imagine that somebody's hooking us up above our rib cage. They're going to pull us up off of the mat. Our shoulders are going to round. Our pelvis is tucking under. And this is somewhere where with my fusion, I don't look like I'm doing a lot because you will all have a lovely hump through your back. So I can still get that motion of tucking the pelvis under, rounding my shoulders. And then we're going to pull back down towards the mat. Feeling that extension through your back, sinking your chest down in between your shoulders, tilting your pelvis forwards. Throughout this whole exercise, my head's staying really still, so I'm keeping my eye line towards the front of the mat. And what that means is I'm not overextending my head and I'm not dropping my head onto my chest either. Just keeping really lovely and safe alignment through my neck throughout. So keep moving between those two options. We're going to take two more in each direction, all the way down, sinking towards the mat. Really feel the movement through 
your shoulders as you sink your chest down to the mat. And bring yourself up away from the mat. And also through your pelvis as it tilts forwards as you sink down. And then tucking the tailbone under as you come up for that last one. Perfect guys, once you've done that last one we're just going to come over onto our bottom. We're going to bring our feet out in front of us, slightly wider than hip width apart. And I want you to prop your feet up onto your heels. Hands can come behind us for a bit of support, or they can come out in front if that feels better for you. We're going to keep our heels still and our hips still, but our knees are going to drop to one side, come back up to the top, and then drop to the other side. So taking it really nice and gently, and just feeling that stretch through your hip joint, seeing how much motion you can get at the top of your leg. And we're just testing your mobility here, so your body's ability to move those knees into a stretch without any extra resistance. Lovely guys. We're going to take this twice more on each side. Just be gentle, especially if you've got any poorly knees out there. Just don't force your legs into any position that they're not comfortable going into. And last one. Perfect. Bring your knees back up to the top, pop your feet back down, come up to the top, take a big old breath and then we're going to come down to the mat. So get yourself nice and comfortable. You want your feet to be planted on the floor, wherever feels best. We are going to bring our hands out either side of our bottom on the floor. And if you're somebody who feels, oh, it's in here. If you're somebody who feels that your chin is tilting up whilst you're lying on your back, then you can just pop a little cushion behind your head. It's going to, again, keep your neck in a really nice alignment. Recurring theme here. Um, so we're going to bring hands down either side of us, and we're bringing knees together, feet together. Keeping your shoulder blades still, we're going to drop our knees over to one side. Your heels are going to lift off the floor and so are your hips, but because your shoulder blades are staying down, we get a lovely twist through our lower spine. Using your tummy muscles, I want you to bring those knees back up to the top, and then we're going to drop them down to the other side. Again, keeping your shoulder blades down on the floor, squeezing with your tummy muscles, bring those knees back up to the top, and then dropping to the other side. motion should take the same amount of time to bring your knees up as it does to drop them down so we're going with a really nice flow here lovely guys nice and gentle enjoying that stretch for your last spine take this two more times on each side. Lovely guys. Coming over for that last one. Really nice and slow. And then we're bringing those knees back up to the top for the last time. We're going to straighten our left leg out towards the end of the mat. We're going to bring our left hand on top of the right knee and guide that knee over across our body. Our right hand's coming out behind us and we're looking towards that hand. And what that's giving us is a lovely extension of those knee drops where we're feeling that twist through our lower spine. So you can hold this position if it's more comfortable to move out of the position and then back in, please do. We're holding here for about 20 more seconds. That should feel really lovely. Turn that right knee back to the centre, 
lowering your hips back down to the floor. Bring your right arm in and then we're swapping the legs over, so bend up the left leg, straighten out the right one. Right hand's coming on top of that left knee, guiding it over your body. And again, we'll stretch that left hand out behind us and look towards our hand. And we're holding here for about 20 more seconds. Lower spine as well. 
And again, we're keeping our eye line out towards the front of the mat. So it's very important that we're not extending or dropping our head. We're just keeping the eye line up in front of us, extending that chest and lowering down. So if you're feeling bendy, we can make these a bit deeper. So you can start with your hands slightly further forwards so that as you then come up, you've got more room to extend your back. Or if you're feeling really bendy, unlike me, I'm gonna have to cheat this a little bit, you can lift your elbows off of the floor and that's gonna give you a deeper back extension. It's the only thing I can't demonstrate because I'm fused. So bring yourself just to the level that feels best for you. And then really use your forearms to push your chest up off of the mat. We're gonna take this three more times, really stretching up, feeling that lovely movement through your spine. Turn it to that wide position and then the left hand's traveling all the way over. We're bending round to the side with our spine, stretching up with the tips of those fingers and keep sitting your bottom down onto your heels here as well. And we're holding for another couple of deep breaths here. You should feel that stretch increase slightly as you breathe in through your ribcage. Okay, let's uncross that left hand. We're going to push ourselves back up into an all fours position. So get yourself nice and comfortable, nice and aligned where our wrists are under our shoulders, our knees are under our hips. Spread your fingers on those hands just to get your weight distribution a little bit more even. And then we're going to take our hips, we're going to drop them over to one side, draw your hips back round, coming into that child's pose, and then bring them up the other direction. So we're drawing a big circle with our hips, dropping again, coming round all the way, stretching through your lower body, really feeling that movement in your hips. As much as we want this to be a controlled circle that we're drawing, I want you to really just try and relax your hips. Drop them down. Enjoy that feeling of relaxation around your pelvis. And then coming up. We're taking two more circles in this direction. Perfect. 
coming up to the top and then we're going to drop to the other side, bring your bottom round and then picking up on the other side. Lovely, so we're really working those hips. Lovely guys. This is a very fun one. <laughs> Let's take two more in this direction. Perfect. One should come around from that last one. We're just going to come over onto our backs and we're going to do a lovely chest stretch and some deep breathing all together just to really relax us. I'm hoping none of you have got a big meeting coming up so we're going to get you nice and sleepy. So get yourself comfortable again, planting your feet down on the floor. Our hands this time are going to come up either side of our face into this nice right angle position. So they're forming almost a W either side of your head. If you feel that your chin's tilting up again, do grab a cushion and pop that under, your, under the back of your head. And if this isn't comfortable in the chest stretch, you can bring your hands down maybe up onto your ribcage or down next to you, whichever feels best. I just want you to bring your focus onto your breathing pattern. So whether you're breathing in through your nose or your mouth, just have a think about when you're breathing in and when you're breathing out. And we're going to try and imagine that we've got a little balloon sat in our belly. So as you're breathing in, you're really filling up that balloon with air and you can physically see it expanding. We're holding that air in the balloon and then pushing it out, feeling that balloon deflate. Lovely. We're going to keep going with these nice slow breaths, breathing in, holding that breath and then pushing the air back out, breathing in, holding and pushing out again. So I want you to keep thinking about that balloon, keep taking those deep breaths. Thinking about expanding through your belly, through your ribcage as you're breathing in. And then about really emptying out all of the air, hollowing out as you breathe out. Lovely guys, keep that deep breathing pattern going. And we're going to think about how our body's feeling today. So we're just going to do a little scan of our body. We're going to start right at the top of our head. Just be really present in the moment. Thinking about how your head's feeling, starting right at the top, starting at your forehead, if you've got any aches or pains, and moving round to the back of your head, through your face, maybe give it a little scrunch, got any tension in there. How's your neck feeling and your shoulders? I just want you to really tune in with your body. How does this stretch feel across your chest? Through your shoulders. So your wrists dropping backwards or planted nicely on the floor. How does your back feel? Does it feel better for all of our stretching, all of our lower back work today? And then moving down to your pelvis. Is it tilting forwards or backwards? Maybe just have a little feel. Getting to know your body a little bit better. And then moving down to your legs, do they feel okay bent up in this position or will they prefer to be nice and straight down at the end of the mat? Keep thinking about your body, how it feels in this position and taking those deep breaths in. Just really trying to focus on how this past has made you feel. Bring your focus back to your breathing. 
filling up your belly with breath, holding it for a couple of seconds and then pushing it all back out again. We're going to start to just wake up the hands and the feet a little bit. So if you just start to give your feet a little scrunch, maybe give your hands a little wriggle, wriggle in your fingers. And we're going to bring our hands back down to our sides or up on your ribs, wherever feels best. And once you've woken up that little bit, maybe give your face a little scrunch. We're going to raise one leg up to the ceiling and join it with the other one. And we're just going to give our feet a little bit of a pedal, point the toes, flex, just enjoying that little bit of movement, just letting some blood come up through our legs, should feel really nice, it's a bit of an odd position but it feels nice, maybe give your knees a little bit of a bend, give your legs a wriggle. Try and keep those big breaths going. And stretch the legs and we're going to bring them back down one at a time to the mat. Lovely. When you're ready, we're going to come over onto our side and then push up into a seated position. Lovely. Do take the time. We've been lying down for quite some time. So we just want to give ourselves that chance to reset our blood pressure. Lovely. Once you're nice and seated, just going to make sure our chest is nice and tall and I always finish my sessions with some big shoulder shrugs and a breath in. So I'm going to breathe in, shrug our shoulders up to our ears and push that air out. And another one, breathing in and up and releasing and again breathing in, shrugging up. Releasing out, lovely guys. You can have a very gentle shimmy today. You usually do an energetic one, but because we're so relaxed, you can just have a little, a little mini wiggle. And so we're all done for today, and actually we're all done for this four-part series of Pilates for pain management, which is really such a shame, but we've had such a lovely time, and thank you all so much for joining. Um, so if you want a little bit of extra Pilates, I'm over at Build Breathe Pilates. You can come, I've got lots of exercise inspiration there, um, and daily workouts every morning as well. So I'll give you your Pilates fix there, um, and drop me a message if you ever want to get involved with my group classes as well. So thank you so much, Fit and Well, for having me, and I hope you guys have enjoyed that, and I will hopefully see a few of you soon. So thank you so, so much. I'm going to embarrass myself turning the camera off now. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.